first leg of this two-leg final. Favorites to win, at least in the first leg, the team from Angola. Here are the owners that have been spread about the continent. Morocco, Tunisia, Nigeria, and indeed the Nigerians have the better record of all. Out on the far side, the blue of uh, Petro Atletico Luanda. Ball just touched inside there. And a wild one eventually by Menino from the left-hand side. A hot day, a bumpy pitch, and not at all easy for any football team. A bit of ball played by Esperance there to Hamruni. And the goalkeeper coming out there, Marito and goal. They had to really try and take advantage of that. Zico going forward, a man with a very famous Brazilian name. Looking for a little support and getting it from Jonas. And the ball just clipping the outside of the post. That was the move there, a little bit of uh, hesitancy in the very flat-looking defense, giving Jonas the opportunity to fire at goal. Goalkeeper taking that, uh, Eluar, Tunisian international, and I think will almost certainly be a goal against the English when they play down in Marseille, their opening game. Sabani clearing that, but not at all effectively. Ball difficult to control in the surface, played by Chacharamba. Inside, Jonas taking it up. And there's a very good save. Eluar again. Showing something of his international caliber. Rather loose play by the Tunisians. But this time, good effort. I'm really trying to uh, juggle the ball there and get himself into a good position. Ball coming off the side of the foot eventually. Ball cleared by Manino. Little touch on there. And the shot at goal brilliantly put in by Paulo Silva. With only 10 minutes of the game remaining. And the ways of celebrating become more and more creative. So one up and they better need that, thinking of the second leg. But of course, with uh, 10 minutes of that game remaining, 1-0 wasn't at all a bad score for Esperance. And they were a little bit disappointed, and you could see that from the reaction of the Atletico Petra, the Luanda players. 1-0 looked a very slim advance to make, with a second leg still to come. Into the second leg and not surprisingly a huge crowd turning up there. The Tunisians of course are fanatical about football. Esperance had won the Cup Winners Cup in 87 and the Champions Cup in 94 in the African continent and here they were again in the famous red and yellow shirts trying to put pressure on the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper Marito had played so well in the first leg. A luscious surface there, not just as hard as they had previously played in.
Free kick taken by Chihi. Dips it quickly to the side. Sabai. Played by good football and that brought out a marvellous save on Marito. Shot there by Tabet. And the goalkeeping can be very spectacular in Africa. Looking for a head inside. And he found one. Tlemsai. The equaliser on aggregate. Aiming that towards the near post and then he sneaks there. Bad covering though. At least two of the Esperance players could have made the contact. Well, the corner kicks were proving to be troublesome, but the referee giving them some protection that time. Up it went there, and it looked as if a hand had been used for control, and indeed it was. Sabai putting it down, getting it back again. And the goalkeeper, Marito, turning out to be one of the star players in the Luanda side. Still making the occasional break forward, although more often than not, in defense, appeals for a free kick there, and the goalkeeper, El Uare, coming out again and taking that very well. Long break, Tabet chasing this. Good defending again by the Angolan side. That's Chacharamba, Marinho, and again the goalkeeper getting down very quickly but under pressure. And El Eluard going down again in that clash and perhaps making the most of it. Into the second half and the corner kicks again proving very difficult for this defend, Hamruni got his head to it and then the ball coming back out to Badra, one minute into the second half and you can see what this large Tunisian crowd thought of that. Ball just cleared off the line there by Heatry. Ball played into the penalty box and then step Badra. But they were still fighting and getting some piercing drives in that goal. Rudy with it, Jihi coming in, and the ball put in the back of the net, but the goal disallowed eventually, offside you could see the flag was up, all they were doing now was waiting for that final whistle, and Esperance 
would have won the final the first club to reach the three finals and there they were holders of the confederations cup before this final they had scored 27 goals but the two they scored at the end to make it 29 the most important of all the victory was dedicated to Hedy Ben Rakisa a young defender who had died in an attack on him in a friendly match after they had played Lyon